Alrighty guys, sorry about that. The battery on the phone almost died, so we had to give it a break. Uh, we got the front steering links on. We've got the Emac servos installed on a yeah racing bracket with the trio steering link. Uh, that's what we look like in the front there. Now I got all the red aluminum links on. The aluminum, the red aluminum mount. So now, it's time to put our motor and transmission back in. I'll slide it in and get the uh, front drive shaft lined up right away. Or try. Right, the front one's in. The same with the rear. While ever, while the motor's loose, and just easier to slide it all together. So now they're in. So we got two screws in the bottom, one screw in the top. Well, that ain't the right screw, but for the moment, we use it to keep everything together. And by adding the metal parts, it's going to make everything a lot more rigid. A lot stronger. Now, up top right here is where the third screw goes. It goes from the top down. Now, if you guys are going to do these modifications, I recommend that you do it all at one time. Because to do this plate separate, you have to take all, all of this apart. You have to take the motor out. So you might as well do your link upgrade. Drive shaft upgrade, if you're going to upgrade them, you can get metal ones. Um, do your motor, motor upgrade, your transmission upgrades. Why have it all apart? Why take it apart three or four times? I mean, especially if you're taking it apart and you're putting the plastic pieces back on that you're, that you're uh, modifying something or customizing or... Upgrading, 
the more times you take the screws in and out of the plastic, the more likely it is going to wear out. Or you're going to strip a screw out and then you're going to have to upgrade it to metal. Anyway, to aluminum, steel, whatever is available. Alright, so what we got is, I think, except for doing the front bumper, which is an Apex product, the bumper and the mount, except for doing that, um, I think I am all out of upgrade parts for this thing so far. I think I'm just going to leave the, the stock shocks on. Um, and because there's so much weight, it just sits like this anyway. It sits all flattened anyway. I'm debating whether to run single wheels in the front and the back because they're the same or run the dually wheels because the dually wheels just look neat I think we'll just stick with the duallys till I decide to do something else yeah I'm gonna finish doing what I'm doing here and uh in the future, we'll do some more upgrades to it. We'll see how it see how it does. It looks good with the red, the red and the black, and the red and the black. So we'll do a, do the bumpers or the bumper. I have to look into figuring out a body mount for the front just to keep it just to keep it solid. Not that it picks up, but. I want it in one spot. Alrighty, guys. Well, this has been Kevin. Kevin's Garage with the tow rig. Uh, we'll get this thing out on the trail soon. And uh, see how it does. See how it does on the trail. See how it does on rescues. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button. Throw me a comment. Subscribe if you want to stay tuned. Uh, thank you for watching.